Hey everyone and welcome back to JDRF's YouTube channel. I know that there is a lot going on in the world right now as it relates to the coronavirus, but I hope that everyone watching this is doing well and staying safe and healthy. Recently, JDRF has been receiving a lot of questions from the type 1 diabetes community about the virus and what it means for those of us living with type 1 diabetes. And as someone who lives with type 1, um, I can definitely relate because in the past weeks, I also have had so many questions. And luckily, JDRF works with many experts and leading physicians in the field who have helped us to answer some of these questions. So today I am going to be um, sharing the top three questions that we've been receiving um, as well as answers to them from some of these experts. Just a disclaimer, none of this is medical advice, so if you do need you know, medical advice for yourself, we recommend that you see your personal physician. And lastly, before I get into any of the questions, I wanted to let you know that all of these questions and answers and more questions and answers can be found at jdrf.org slash coronavirus. So the most frequently asked question that we've received is, are those of us with T1D more susceptible to catching COVID-19? And the answer that we've heard from experts is no. People who have well-managed T1D are not more likely to contract COVID-19 but those with consistently elevated blood sugar levels are likely to be at greater risk. The next question is, why is the CDC and World Health Organization saying that having diabetes does put us at greater risk? So we spoke to several experts about this and received the same response, that the categorization for those with diabetes are at higher risk is broad and without specificity. So for those of us living with T1D, it applies directly to those without well-managed type 1 diabetes. And the last question is, if someone with T1D gets COVID-19, are they at greater risk for developing serious complications? We've been repeatedly told that those with well-managed type 1 and those who continue to manage glucose levels throughout this or any illness should be at no greater risk of developing serious complications from COVID-19. Hopefully hearing the answers to these questions has helped you and like I mentioned earlier in the video, you can find all of these answers and more at jdrf.org slash coronavirus, so I recommend that you check it out. Thank you so much for watching, stay safe, and I will see you soon.